Hi community. Today I want to touch in about the importance of the journey. And I ultimately believe that the journey is the destination. It's incredible to have goals and something that you want to create in this world, to have a big dream. That's a huge part of what I speak to because it keeps us inspired and motivated to just show up fully and to really live our lives. But that doesn't mean that the journey itself, that the life itself doesn't matter. That's, that's the whole point. And we can't get lost on the destination, on the dream, on the goal, and not allow ourselves to be present with everything leading up to it. Because this moment is the only moment that is real. And the only opportunity to truly know yourself is when you live in this moment, the only true moment. So a big part of me and in, in, in my experience of being able to know myself so deeply and so clearly is through travel. I just want to share a little bit of my story and some of the pretty epic experiences that I had that let me trust this and know this for myself, that it is the journey that is truly the destination. It, it's every single moment that is life-giving, that it is filled with experience and opportunity to know the self and to know the world around you. So the beginning of my traveling was truly a journey to the self. I wanted to discover who I was. I wanted to place myself in new situations where I was forced to grow and to learn and to be present because I didn't know anyone. I didn't know the languages. I didn't know the areas I was in. I had to live in the moment to, to be able to really experience and, and to move with grace and not fear because fear comes up a lot when you first begin to travel. But the only way that we can truly know ourselves is when we live in the present moment. And that's what travel does for me. And I think that's why I love it so much because I am forced to be here. My mind is active. I am so a heart-based being, but my mind is active and it can pull me into the past and into the future. But when I travel, there's no choice but to be exactly where you are. And it's amazing. So the first time I ever went to India, I had been wanting to travel there for years. I had read the autobiography of a yogi two times at this point, and it was so fresh for me. And I remember sitting in my office with a coworker and I was like, I want to go to India. And she was like, just stop talking about it. Just go. And so I pulled up Google Flights and I booked a two and a half month trip to India without even a thought. I just did it. Do -do 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 and I was like, well, I just bought it. And she was like, what? Like you bought that flight? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go to India. Like I'm going. And of course, in that moment's decision, all the thoughts come up of like, what are you, what are you doing? You don't have the money to do that. You don't have the time to do that. You don't have the resources. What about your apartment? What about your job? What about your responsibilities? You know, all of the, the limitations that the mind creates, right? Because ultimately, if we want something bad enough, anything is possible. We can create the path that lets us have that experience if we want it bad enough. But that mind likes to come in and tell us all the reasons not to, all the reasons that we can't. Well, quiet that mind down, listen to the heart, listen to the soul, be guided by your intuition and live the life that you're meant to live, that you feel inspired to live. So that's what I did. Off to India I went. I, it was a long flight. This was my first time traveling solo in a new country. And I landed after, I think it was like a 14, 15 hour flight. I was super nauseous. I hadn't ever flown for that long. When I went to Australia, I had some like breaks in my flight and I was used to organic food. So the airplane food, just everything. I landed, I hadn't slept. And I remember they opened the door and the smell of India and to anyone who's been to India, it has a very unique smell that you go to love but at the beginning of after being a little nauseous it hit me and i was like like what did i do <laughs> i got off the flight i didn't have a destination i remember in that moment being like okay i need to like tap in i need to touch in on my intuition and find the, the direction i'm supposed to, to travel in and ended up connecting with someone in the airport who told me about a really great hostel nearby that had amazing internet that would give me an opportunity to, to just ground down really close to a sacred temple. And so I did it. I just went, checked in, traveled and, and wandered. Ultimately, I just wandered. I, 
I would go to a temple, I would speak to somebody who could speak English and they'd direct me someplace else and I would listen and then I would go there and I'd, that's how I moved for two and a half months. I would just trust that, that the person I met and I'm, I'm not a stupid person. I can, I can know when someone is tricking me and someone is, is speaking on us. And I believe that we all have that ability within us. We just have to trust ourselves. And so I just traveled India on trust, trust alone. Sometimes I would feel called to go to the train station and I simply would ask the, for a ticket to the next destination. Didn't even care where it was. Or I did that at the airport a few times. And I'm so grateful because I got to go to places I never would have found on my own, like Shivana Bellagola and Trivi Malay and, and just all of these incredible places and, and Hampi and, and I got to see the country and I got to be in each, each moment because I didn't have a destination. When we have a destination, we have these time restraints that say, well, I need to get up and I need to go because I have to be here now and I have to be here now. But I didn't create a single restraint on my experience. And so I got to just experience, I got to live and be in the present moment. And because of that, I was able to make such deep connections. I would stay with families so I had met and eat, eat meals with them out of the same bowl and connect so deeply and so authentically because without the destination, I could be where I, where I was. I could be in the moment, which is the only moment that we have. Because when we're so focused on a destination, quite often we'll, we'll meet a point in the path where we have an option to try something different and we can't even see that option because this is where we think we need to be. But we are changing and growing constantly as beings. And so the destination we create for ourselves right now, five years from now, there's a high probability that that destination no longer serves the person that you have become. And so I believe in creating dreams. I do believe in the importance of having some place to head to, but don't pigeonhole yourself. Stay open and trust and allow. And when you feel that a new opportunity has presented itself that will serve you, listen and allow yourself to be your guide because life is right now. Life is happening right now in this moment and it only happens right now. It only happens in this moment. And when we cannot live in the moment, we cannot truly and fully live. And if we cannot fully live and be in this moment, we will never know ourselves. The thinking mind can create an understanding of who you are, but the present moment is when you actually feel into and discover that for yourself. You have to be in this moment to know who you are. And so if you're struggling with identity, you're probably not living right here. You're living in the past or you're living in the future. You're thinking about all the things you have to do. Just stop. Just breathe. Just be here right now with each moment as it comes, with each breath as it comes, with each person as it comes. Allow yourself to connect and experience. There's all of these incredible beings, multimillionaires, when you connect with them on their deathbed and you ask them, what is your biggest regret? They never regret something that they did. They regret something they didn't do. They were too focused on the destination. They were too focused on the career. They were too focused on making money that they didn't actually live their lives. So don't let that be you, especially if you're doing something that you don't even love. Don't live your entire life to work for somebody else and not even enjoy it. Be where you are. Be with who you're with. Breathe into this moment and allow yourself to truly live because what if you never reach the destination what if your entire life you are so focused on this one thing and you never get there what then you missed out on your entire life the entire experience that you could have had or what if you die tomorrow or in five years None of us are guaranteed this life. We never actually know how much time we have. We assume we have forever because time is all there is. 
and time is all we have. But we never know when our life will end. And if we continue to put our life on hold so that we can get to the destination, we're never going to actually enjoy the life that we have. And we're going to miss out on so many opportunities and so many experiences because we haven't allowed ourselves to simply be here. So stop seeking the next thing. Stop searching for the next opportunity, the next destination, and allow yourself to simply be here. Stay focused. I'm not saying to not focus. Be focused. Have a dream. Have a goal. They're motivating. They're inspiring. They're important. But don't be so focused on them that you can't actually truly live your life. That you can't actually be in this moment. Your journey is your life. Savor it. Experience it. Be in it. The journey is the destination. Your life is what matters every single moment. So don't waste it by staring at the television or constantly worrying and being fearful and frightened of what's to come or what happened or holding on to past experiences. Don't let the past or the future stop you from living right now in this beautiful moment. So let's just take one more deep breath together in through the nose and let it all out the mouth. Curl those lips at the side. Place a smile on your face. Fill your heart with gratitude. And be here right now.